What's up, everybody? Dan here. Another fabulous episode of Dan Does Christmas. People come up to me, hey, Dan, I really like your rapping. So I thought this episode, I'll uh, show you guys how to do it. Wrapping paper selection is everything. All right, what I like to do is roll out Roll out plenty of wrapping paper. It's paper. It's no big deal. Plus it's Christmas time. Let's see, put this here. I wanna make sure I hide it, because just in case, my daughter always sees videos, so. Let's see, what you wanna do, put that there like that. I always, I always try to fold just enough cover plus a little extra you never know if you make a mistake all right the uh, battery label warning came on messed up my mojo okay what you want to do is see the lines it's always important to cut on the lines straight now I'm gonna try to hold my hand and do this so let's see if I can do it Uh, off the line. Usually what happens is I just kind of start uh, about halfway through I get bored. And I'm like, alright. Let's get it done. There we go. It's a lot harder with one hand than I thought. And just really quickly you want to go all the way up top. I like to leave the paper even when it's done. Then I can just throw it over there. Alright. Now there's a little bit too much on the top. So I just go like this. And then uh, just pick a line and go on. Then you can reposition. By the way, my daughter's gonna love this. And uh, keep my leg here, some tape. There we go. I like to get a good base going. And you just fold it up like this. Now comes the fun part. The corners always give me a little trouble. I just like to like kind of fold it, try not to make it rip. I don't know if you can still see it, but I'm gonna give it a go. Oh. There we go, nice even little. Now if you rip a little bit, it's all right. Got plenty of extra over here for a little patchwork. Put a little piece of tape on there. And just continue to put a little tape on. Pro tip, you see how I got the tape on the bottom over here? When you do the top, you want to do it on the same side. You want to have amateur hour where you got tape on bottom on one side and then tape on the other. This presents a nice presenting side of the president, if you will. And then just pull the top up. See that? Pretty easy, you just cut that off like that. And then just fold it down. Tape is your friend. I like to smooth it out. Boom, tape. A little tape over here. 
you really just can't put too much tape on. All right, see any tiny little piece like this, see how it flakes off? Ooh, kids will get into it for a little sneak peek. I like to do a complete once over. Oh, now look here, damage. What you gotta do now is patch. So using some of the leftovers you got, you just like cut a little corner. Oh look, I must've made a patch from another time. All right, so you know, you just put a little piece over there about that big. You don't have to measure, you just eyeball it. Okay, now a piece like this, that's a pretty significant rip. What you wanna do? I think I'm gonna do the strip method. I'm gonna cut one strip here and then another strip here. And then I could do a top strip like that. Put that on there, good tape. So, boom, finished patch. Can hardly even tell. See the back, got tape. That's where all the tape is, front. Pretty good. All right. Well, I could probably put a little tape right there. One hand method. Boom. And just put something like that. Now, if you have any kind of bow or anything, ah, oh, string. I really don't do string. Let's see. No, it's not gonna happen. Ah, look here. I got two bows, man. Two bows. These are the kinds I like. You just peel them off and stick them on. What's cool about bows is it doesn't even matter what they look like because it's just a bow. It could be any color. You probably have like an ugly, ugly bow, nice wrapper. People are like, ah. Got a bow on it. Oh man, what happened here? Looks like I completely forgot to tape aside. Now this might be common sense, but you always want to put the bow on the end that doesn't have the tape. All right, so that side, that side. There. Doesn't that look good? All right, guys, there we have it. Now, one final detail that you need to do is put your name on it. Some people don't have those fancy name tags, but you can use sticker wrapper. Doesn't really matter. Anything that has uh, tape that you can use to tape to tape it on, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'll show you that here in the next steps. All right, for my tame tags, I use some of my spare wrapping paper, cut tiny little squares, and that's it. Then you just fold them in half. It's tricky with one hand. Fold them in half. Then on one side, take some tape, and ooh, this is really hard. Just kind of like go like that. Down on the bottom, boom. Now notice how I put the name where the patch was. That even hides it even better. Oh, I'm out of tape. Well, this should be enough to make it just enough. There we go. Boom, got yourself. Two in the front. All right, last step is just put them under the tree. Our tree is so beautiful this year. Thanks to my lovely wife, even the wreath. All right guys, that concludes my video. I'm making Christmas presents. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.